Head over to BoardGamePrices.com to find the best price on Emotep the Duel and thousands of other games. Emotep the Duel is a two-player duel where each player is going to be building a pyramid, a tomb, an obelisk, and a temple with different tiles through tactical gameplay. Players will be placing their meeples out on this 3x3 grid to try to line themselves up, or they'll be unloading the boats, getting the goods from each of the meeples that is in that area. And each tile that the player gets will go in the respective spots in their player boards. Boats will then get refilled and play will continue. There's also special tiles that will allow you to sort of break the rules of the game for your turn. And at the end of the game, each of these will score differently, like having the highest one and getting points for each of them, or getting set collection for each of the pyramids, counting all the circles, or trying to get groups of sets together for big points. But each of these has a B side that you can turn to and mix and match with some A's and some B's for great replayability. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Emotep the Duel took the original Emotep and really streamlined it down to a very tactical two-player game that has simple mechanisms, but a lot of great tactics of studying the board, studying that grid, trying to figure out what they want, what are they going for, planning for future turns, messing up with their plans, with making them get boats and things off boats that they didn't want to screw them up. You're, it's, it's such an interesting thing because it's such an easy game to play, but man, is it cutthroat. It's fun to mess with each other. It's fun to kind of like work up these set collections. You get those cool special action tiles tiles that add some spice to the game. You get the replayability of the different tiles that score different ways on the A and B sides. Uh, it did feel like a smaller but better version of Emotep in my opinion. On the negative side, the theme is, is, is very abstracted. It's pretty much themeless. If that bothers you, this might not be the game for you. And it can be pretty aggressive by messing with other players. If you don't like having your plans throughout, this might not be for you either. It might be too aggressive, but I loved it and it got a saxophone serenade and made it to my gaming library. This video was shot on a Game Topper, the ultimate gaming accessory. After successfully fulfilling their first Kickstarter, Game Toppers are taking the world by storm. Now you can get your own portable gaming top by participating in Game Toppers Kickstarter 2.0 starting June 25th, 2019. New styles, new sizes, and amazing new game mats. Go to GameToppersLLC.com to enter a full Game Topper system valued over $1,000 to also bring you to the Kickstarter project page and to late pledge.